And in this bamboo forest, I finally find what I came to Thailand for. This is the King Cobra. Rolling. This is the King Cobra. Look at the size of this one. It's absolutely massive. I don't think that the camera does justice to the size of this specimen right here. It must be at least three meters in length. I'm looking quite small to the snake, I guess. Look at the size of it. And I'm one meter, 90, about six foot three. And this snake right here gotta be at least three meter in length, about eight feet. That's the average size of a King Cobra. And look at the habitat around us. It's a bamboo forest. There are a lot of bamboo and lowland forests, even some moist tropical rainforest area right here in Thailand. And this one would still be considered a juvenile compared to some of the big specimens that we can find in the world. The largest king cobras can go up to about six meters in length. Now compare this, this right here is three meters. Imagine a six meter king cobra. And it's just trying to escape right now. As you can tell, it wants to have nothing to do with me. It's just trying to get away. Oh, you all right? Did you see that? It was like mock charging me right there, mouth wide open, and it's forming this hood. Oh, and that's a warning for you. It's trying to tell you, be careful, don't mess with me. And this right here is an apex predator. There's no animal out here that would mess with a cobra this size. Not even tigers, leopards, or any other animals to live right here in this bamboo forest would try to mess with a king cobra that size. They have no natural predators whatsoever. This snake right here in that size can kill a fully grown Asian elephant. It's believed one bite from a king cobra can kill up to 20 fully grown humans. So that's a snake you don't want to mess with and you have to pay all the respect in the world. Now this right here is one of the most venomous snakes in all of Thailand. Its venom is not necessarily much stronger than that of other cobras in the area, like the Siamese spitting cobra or the monocled cobra. But what makes this snake right here so dangerous is its sheer amount of venom that it has. In one bite, it can inject so much venom, it's really scary. And it can kill really quick within an hour, two hours. And if it injects venom, that's pretty much always a 100% death chance unless you get medical treatment quick enough. So it's really important for someone that's bitten by a king cobra to seek medical attention as quickly as possible. And when I say this right here, it's an apex predator, just like tigers or leopards out here. These snakes right here would leave us alone completely, right? We don't have to be so afraid of them. They will walk away from us. We were walking up on the snake just now and it was trying to escape. It's just starting to get sunset here. So it's a little bit cooler. It's incredibly warm out here in Thailand. And the snake was probably just looking out for some food. Now this right here is a snake eater. The king cobra prefers to eat other snakes. Their diet mainly only consists of other snakes, such as the monocled cobra, rat snakes, other colobrid species, and even their own kind. King cobras eat other king cobras as well. So interesting fact is that when these snakes build a nest, Actually, it's the only snake in the world to build nests. And the nests are about one and a half meters wide and about half a meter tall. And the female will gather lots of leaves, lots of sticks to make a nest. And then before the snakes will hatch, the mother will abandon the nest out of instinct because otherwise the mother might as well eat its own offspring. Isn't that wild? So humans are not on the list. The only way we will get bitten by a snake like this is if you try to catch or kill and threaten the snake. Don't give it a reason to be scared. Just leave it alone. We'll always leave you alone. The King Cobra. What a majestic animal. Hey! And I'm telling you what, it is intimidating to see a snake this size charge at you with its hood and mouth wide open. And as you can hear, it's also growling. It gives you this sound and I'm sweating, internally I'm sweating. 
It's the first time ever today that I'm working with a king cobra. And it's a very intelligent animal, very calm. And it surprises me how calm it is. It's focused on movement, like all cobras especially. Very, very hard to multitask for a king cobra. So just focusing on the movement of the camera. And you can easily manipulate them that way. But nevertheless, absolutely astonishing species, the king cobra. And check out this coloration on its body. It has these beautiful stripes, which helps it also camouflage here in these bamboo forests. And very unique for the king cobra are the huge scales on the top of its head. They're absolutely massive. And look at the snake now, it's extremely very. It's looking at me with a side eye. There's no way that I can try to neck the snake or anything like this right now. It has me in its sight. It's checking out what's going on, assessing whether I mean danger or not. Absolutely amazing. The king cobra. Okay, I think that's good. What a journey through Thailand. This trip is complete. I hope that now you can agree that these snakes can be described as more than just deadly. Thailand snakes are beautiful, peaceful, shy, and absolutely indispensable in their ecosystems. And that accounts for all snakes around the world. And as we start to acknowledge this and pay these animals the proper respect they deserve, we shall see that snakes are not our enemies, but our friends. I know I am free, I'm feeling alive, take me back to the jungle.